So Python has tons of functions, like tens of thousands of functions, hundreds of thousands maybe, of functions that we can use to write our program. And we've seen just like a few of these functions, right? And the thing though is that when you open Python or you know whatever editor you're using like Anaconda or Spider, they're not all these functions are not all loaded when you load in Python. Okay? You ha there are some basic functions that we've seen already that are always loaded in, but some other functions you need to load in or you need to give a command to load in those functions. So that's what this video is about. In this video, uh, just uh, as an example, I'm going to try to generate some random numbers or some random integers. And to do that, I'm going to have actually have to load in the random module. Now, to load in a module, we start with the keyword import. So if you type the word import, you'll see that it lights up in a different color, right? So that's a keyword import. So we don't want to use the word import for anything other than importing modules. So I'm going to type import, then space, and then I'm going to type the name of the module that I want to load in. And you, 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 don't, you don't know any modules at this point, but I'm going to tell you that there's a module called random. So I'm going to, I'm going to type import space random and what that and hit enter and what that does is it loads in now all of the like functions that python has related to generating and evaluating random numbers right so from this module random there are like you know i don't know how many but maybe a hundred functions that have to do with random numbers. So there are lots of different modules and then each module has a bunch of different functions. Okay, so now I want to like access some specific functions from this module. What I can do is type, let's say, random. So I type the name of the module, random, then I need a dot. So I'm saying like, from the random module, then I'm going to call the function randint. So this is so randint is a function from the random module. And there's all this Python documentation online. You can read about the random module and all the functions that it has. You can read about randint. Now you wouldn't have known that this function exists, all right? But as we go through the course, you'll see more and more of the tools that are available to you, like you know about print and len and imp input. Now you know about rand int from the random module. And if I give it a couple inputs, like if I give it, um, w let's say, 1 and 10, like this. So these, these are the arguments, or these are the inputs that I'm passing to the rand int function. I'm passing 1 and 10. What it gives out is a random integer between 1 and 10. So if I call that again, you know, I'll get something else out, and I'll just do that a few more times so you can see. Now, if I tried this command, if I tried executing this command before importing random, then I would get a syntax error. It wouldn't know what randint is, or, and, and it wouldn't uh, know what the random module is, so you have to import it, right? So there are, again, many different modules, and then each module has many different functions, right? And what we're going to learn about these, a, lot, a lot of these modules and a lot of these functions as we go throughout the course. So this gives you an idea of how you could generate a random integer. Thank you.